Peggy 18. <laughs> Liberation takes place at the end of the 18th century in Louisiana, and we're really telling Avalyn's own story. She's sort of she's sort of drawn to question her her values and assumptions, um, and she's pulled in different directions by both the assassins and the Templars. Uh, slavery, of course, in the 18th century was one of the leading industries around the world, so it's very much a part of the economic backdrop. So uh, Ubisoft Sofia uh, in Bulgaria uh, is actually developing the game. Uh, we in Montreal are working very closely with them every day. So in terms of the scale of liberation, we wanted to replicate the console experience on a handheld. So you will find that it's as large and deep as any of the other console entries in the franchise. The team's done an incredible job um, transitioning from one platform to another. We tend to focus on what we consider pivotal moments in human history. And uh, the time of the American Revolution is obviously a very critical one, not just for the, the colonies in the United States itself, but actually for the entire world. Women have always played a, an important role uh, in history. Um, and at that time period, um, there's a lot of influential women. When we thought about the protagonist of our story, we thought that a woman would be great. We wanted Aveline's skills to reflect who she is and uh, her heritage. So we introduced uh, a bunch of new weapons, like the blowpipe and also the whip. Anvil Next allows us to bring the full AC experience into the Vita. Over the course of her adventure, Aveline will uh, meet up with and interact with Connor. Uh, I don't really want to say much more, and uh, yeah, you'll see.